everyone, my name is Nasa Jackson. As for today, I'm presenting you Isekai Fandom Red to Tomahawking Spider for Trapassing, the final part. Anyways, I enjoy the video. Air Raider is the only class that can be played on the highest difficulty while eating a bag of Doritos, and I mean that literally. Friendly airstrike inbound. I love Ranger, I love Wing Diver, but Air Raider is something else. That is like the ultimate form of spawn camping, <laughs> like dog. Much like Q-tips are designed for your ears, Air Raiders aren't designed for damage, but in both cases, I don't care. If you want me to play a support class as a support class, then don't give me a Tomahawk cruise missile as a primary weapon. Where is that missile? Yeah, is it coming down or not? Oh, it's huge! <laughs> Theoretically, Air Raider is designed to have a vehicle spawn, helpful support item, and sticky bomb launcher for emergency self-defense. <laughs> but again, I don't care what it's designed to do, I care about what it can do. I gamble away all of my personal safety in close quarters so that I can triple up on items specifically designed to put stadium-sized craters into the earth. That should help. This should help a lot. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and besides, there's no written rule anywhere that I can't use a Hammer of Dawn at point-blank range. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I will use this as a close quarters weapon. I'm not scared. These weapons are so catastrophically fucking powerful. It is nothing short of an insult to call Air Raider a support class. I'm not here to support the violence. I am the violence. My face when playing a support class. Yup, definitely a support class. Hey, I think I hit it. I hit it. Just oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I almost just FPS rushed myself with that spider. <laughs> no matter if it's carbon bombs, orbital lasers, or tomahawk cruise missiles, there's so much damage to be done over such a wide area that the hardest part is not killing all of your teammates and yourself. All right, I got some. No, 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 no! The beam, the beam, the beam! No, Go the that beam. way! The oh beam. shit! <laughs> Why are they already here? Oh, trust me, they're not gonna. Oh, you blocked. Lock my throw, Stretchy. Oh, I no. want you to know oh, what no. you've done. We oh, can't no. even escape it now. It's already here. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, my airstrike. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, God. Oh, oh dear okay, God. Okay, 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 okay. I got out. I got out. I got out. Skulker, please stop strafing in my way. That's a laser. You're gonna... Skulker, I don't even fucking care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this brawn is amplified when you combine it with brains. And I was more than happy to show these dipshit insects what that looks like. Because the difference between having 200 thousand neurons in your brain and 86 billion neurons in your brain is an airborne flamethrower that even physics is pissed off about. We are learning a valuable lesson about gravity today. I'm not done abusing this chasm of an intelligence gap either, because if you think a flamethrowing helicopter is cruel, just wait until I strap 20 high caliber turrets onto my rotors in a clever maneuver called engineering. <laughs> okay, this should work. Yeah, I'm starting with one. Going oh to two. My goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's working. Right. Okay. 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 Hold on. This okay. is tech. This is, this is tech. 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 We're doing it. We're doing it. This oh is working God. perfectly. <laughs> this is working perfectly. Oh. How? How? Shit. How? Oh. <laughs> but the best feature of Air Raider is not his helicopters or his airstrikes or even his orbital laser that can make any crab based enemy dance like a stick bug. Oh, you can make it. What was that? <laughs> it, is like that. it feels like that stick bug dancing. <laughs> it's stick bug. What the f <laughs> Look at this shit. He disappears. <laughs> it's the Gundam, which they call a balam, but we're punching nondescript Japanese lizards in the face here. It's a Gundam. Uh oh, it's going Super uh -oh. Saiyan. Uh oh, it's going nondescript power up. You can spawn this thing nonstop if you kill enough baddies, and I'm not gonna say it's better than Erginus, which is their name for the giant lizard. Damn, he hit me once, and I lost two thirds of my health. Oh god, oh god, oh god, all of my health just fucking disappeared. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Suddenly, Big Robot does not <laughs> seem as good. That I lizard to took piece. one sip of the McDonald's Sprite and I was done. But it's your best shot at knocking this oversized iguana flat on his ass. And apart from skipping the knockdown animation by spamming the taunt animation, this thing is completely self explanatory. Accelerate your mass to maximize the force of the impact. Just punch him in the face. I don't have the legal permission to say that I killed the trademarked creature Godzilla, but there were several hundred reptiles harmed in the making of this video. The only thing stronger than this monster is Japanese copyright lawyers. Harry this, you stupid fucking lizard. <laughs> Me punching a lizard. 
God damn! Oh my god! Oh. I landed an 86 hit combo. He hits one haymaker and I just fucking die? No, the McDonald's sprite! Fuck! No! <laughs> it's a back of my combo. <laughs> Look at this shit. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, are you ready? Dennis is down and out. Just that bitch. It's lying on the items. And how could I forget the fourth and final clap? <laughs> Spencer is just ridiculous, and we just got done with Air Raider, who makes Dick Cheney seem like a nice guy, so I don't even know where to start with him. Literally a Gundam with two box cutters that's, that's <laughs> going up against the entirety the of the straight? insects in Florida. He's supposed to be the heavy class with extreme firepower and jacked armor at the expense of turtle slow movement speed? There yeah, may be like some the civilian old. casualties, but that's a sacrifice I am willing to make. But by exploiting his dash cancel mechanic, you can make him the fastest class in the game. If done correctly, even even Wing Diver can't keep up with him. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think heavy classes are supposed to work this way. Which means he's super tanky, super powerful, super fast, and he's got twice as many weapons as everybody else but Air Raider. This guy even specializes in melee combat. I don't know who the fuck sees giant insects swarming a city and says to themselves, Oh boy, I better grab my hammer. Cowabunga it is. The Vulcan hammer's like a nuclear bomb on a stick. You have failed the vibe check. I just don't play him, because spamming shift and space all round to maximize his wave dash gives me arthritis, so I leave that shit to Heavenly or her Boku. They both had fencers so power leveled that inviting them to my party was like typing SV underscore cheats one into console. Yo, if aliens are real- I was about to ask you, is that gun good? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, get your glasses ready. <laughs> Wait a minute! No, my graphics just, card stop! Stop! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh no! I am this crossing my fingers! <laughs> oh, I live! Nope. Oh, the risk of that weapon is not friendly fire, it's that it will crash your game to desktop. <laughs> For a second there, Herboku, I became that meme of that dude sitting in a fast food restaurant just glowing orange. <laughs> No matter the class you choose, progression is the same, and grind doesn't even begin to describe it. Grind. Each class is entirely separate, so leveling up one does absolutely nothing to another, and you don't level up per se, you just get better shit. Picking up red crates increases your armor stat. Picking up green crates gives you a random weapon. Tutorial complete. Ta-da! It's a grind, but it's a fun grind, because the more you build your armor and weapon stack, the more you can play on higher difficulties. <laughs> hey man, what's that hard mode like? And the top tier weapons you earn later on are 100% worth the effort. Every class has at least something outrageous. The rule of God is incoming. <laughs> what's the blast radius on this bitch? Yes. <laughs> That's that. Oh! <laughs> now That's I know it. what you meant by the blast radius is <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Making it to the end of the campaign will grant you the honor of killing God, or at least blowing up his brain, in a level that consists of every laser ever created being beamed into your eyes. Lasers aren't real! Don't bother trying to understand it, because I fully comprehend every bit of the story, and that shit doesn't add up. Hey, we got the queen! It's like, uh, did you get the queen or a queen? Good thing it doesn't matter, because EDF 4.1 The Shadow of New Despair is one of the greatest arcade games I've ever played. It's worth the 20 demon dollars, and playing it with my friends made it downright unforgettable. Holy <laughs> shit, you fucking clown, bro. <laughs> oh, they're behind us. Me McAfee. and the remodeled McDonald's adding select all ingredients to my burger. <laughs> <laughs> what about that mother motherfucker 43? <laughs> Ah <laughs> uh, yes, the ultimate trait in a sniper rifle, a glaring lack of accuracy threats. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you zigged when you should have zagged, my boy. I've seen an entire cluster of ants move a rock before. Not a big rock, but like a decent sized pebble for ants. I saw them pick up Nebraska. <laughs> Is that where it went? <laughs> <laughs> Is that where the rest of it went? <laughs> <laughs>